People say that making games is hard, but is that really true? I mean, I tried learning it when I was like 12, but quickly realized I'm too dumb for it. Five years have gone by, and I decided I should try again, because making games is still my dream. So this is my progress after 100 days. Day 0 to 20, I first had to pick an engine. I originally wanted to go with Unity, but um, uh, yeah, let's not do that. I really it is. I installed it, opened it, and was more than confused, like there's so many buttons, man. So I found this C++ for Unreal course in Udemy, which was actually really good. I genuinely recommend it to you if you want to learn Unreal. Now let me be real with you, I had coding experience beforehand, so you know, it was not that hard to do the coding part. But this course just made me familiar with other Unreal Engine features and gave me a solid basic understanding of how everything works. And while following it, I made a few small games which gave me enough confidence to start my own bigger project. And that's day 20 to 30. I wanted to make a robots fighting game, but I quickly realized that I won't be able to make a game if I don't have 3D models for it. I was lazy, so I went to search for some on the internet. And uh, yeah, it quickly became clear to me that Blender is inevitable. Modeling wasn't that hard, but what still confuses me to this day is texturing and animations. And why is it called Blender? But uh, yeah, let me tell you, I did not enjoy my stay there. It's not that the software is bad, don't get me wrong, it's awesome to be fair. But like, I wanna make a game, I don't wanna make statues, you feel me? So as you can see, I made a few robots for the game. And it was finally time to start working on it. Which is what I did in day 30 to 40. I set up the controls, added movement, simple shooting mechanics, learned a little bit about Unreal particle system, animation systems, state machines, and all of that. One thing I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit is that learning how to properly export Blender models to Unreal took me like 5 days. But hey, at least now we have these beautiful robots. I mean, I think they're beautiful. Okay. It's good for a beginner, right? Yeah, that's basically all I've done in those 10 days, which is kind of disappointing, but how about we dive into to something more interesting now. You know, every game has a map because, well, it's one of the most important parts that make up a game, so I knew I had to do that next. Day 40 to 50, I was introduced to this map making software called Gaia, and let me tell you, it's awesome and it's free and it's compatible with Unreal. Like, look, you just have to like drag a landscape thing, and boom, here it is already. You can then randomize its look, add other shit like erosion so it looks more realistic. And um, yeah, as you can see, I really liked it, but Gaia isn't enough for a map because the landscape doesn't have color. And that's where Unreal Materials come into play, which at the time I wasn't really familiar with. But after learning the basics of them, I was able to make this auto landscape material, which detects the map's mountain edges and flat land and everything and applies the cell materials to them automatically. I won't explain further on it because that could be a whole new video topic, but main takeaway is that auto landscape material is very useful and smart and technology is cool. Unlike the previous days, this was actually enjoyable because look, it's just beautiful, you know? But um, you just look around and everything is dead, which is kind of boring. So moving on to 50 to 70, I added AIs and as you might have noticed, it took me more time unlike other things because you see, AI in games isn't this chat GPT thing which can help you send a nuclear bomb to the guy's house who disrespected you on Call of Duty. Nah, AI in games is just seriously coded logic. And I have a whole video about that, so feel free to check that out if you want. But in short, most logic goes into this thing called the behavior tree, and different parts of it are activated as the game goes. Anyway, main takeaway is that AI is boring, I hated this period of time, but when I finally got it working, oh, it felt great. Okay, so we have a game with robots, guns, maps, AIs, which is pretty cool, but like four months are gone, and I still haven't completed a single game. So I decided to put this project aside. Day 70 to 80, it's finally time to complete a project. So I remade the Chrome Dino No Internet game into a 3D first person shooter, which was a very random idea, but with the knowledge I had at the time, everything went really smooth. I didn't really need to model a Dino character as well because it's just first person, so that made it easier. Yeah, anyway, the project was successful. <laughs> By successful, I mean I actually finished it, and it's now even downloadable on my itch.io page. Now, day 80 to 90, I still didn't want to work on the robots game because, I don't know, it was just boring, so I decided it would be cool as a challenge to make a game in one hour, a game in one day, and another one in one week. And it was kind of fun. Um, as you probably expected this, the games are very different. The first two games aren't really going anywhere, they were just basically a waste of time. But the third game is, I don't know, pretty pretty fun. It's, it's about robbing your store, so if you never did that in real life and want to experience robbing your store, because that's um, definitely a thing everyone wants to experience, so yeah, you, you can check that out. So let me be honest, all of the these three games were just for a video. 
Yeah, so at this point I spent like 90 days in Unreal and I can't lie, I, I was getting pretty comfortable with it. I've made two games and they have and I'm starting to feel like I actually understand what I'm doing. But you know, this video was titled 100 days, not 90 days. So I used the last 10 days to start a new chapter in my journey. Yeah, <laughs> if you didn't know, um, that's kind of difficult, but it's fine, I'm starting to get the hang of it. I'm working on this new game which is like a mix of Fall Guys and those vehicle obstacle GTA online maps. And um, both of those games I just mentioned are multiplayer, so I need to make this one multiplayer too. I just quickly want to mention that this whole process was more than enjoyable. Like, it's really exciting to finally understand something I thought I'd never be able to. And um, yeah, if you want to start making games, just do it. It's not that hard. You know, I I'm not that smart. I barely understand maths, so you don't need to be some kind of genius for it. Anyway, thanks for still watching. I genuinely appreciate that a lot. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, help me out, man. <laughs> Drop a like for the YouTube algorithm shit, you know? Subscribe if you want to follow my journey and uh, join our Discord community because I'd love to chat with you. So um, yeah, thanks.